Hello viewers, this is your host Sushil and I am here with you with my new video in which we are going to learn how to do better formatting and clean the formatting in Microsoft Excel. So let's begin with the first one. Here if you see in a single cell an address has been typed together along with the city and the country name. But because of the line break we see the details are in single cell with multiple lines. So let us convert it into a single cell. So I choose all the cells, say Ctrl H. Ctrl H is an option to find and replace either say Ctrl H or you can go to find and select and here you can choose the option replace. The same dialog box will appear here. In the find box, uh, find what box, let's say Ctrl J. Once you say Ctrl J, a point will be seen blinking there. So just go to replace with, say blank and then say replace on. Once done, you see here, all done, we made 22 replacements. This is what the Excel alert that pops up. And if we go closer to the cells and see the content which was with line break has now been removed from, with, from the line break and it appears as a single text in the cell. Fine. So if I cut it short, it will be seen all together the 14 cells with the addresses now properly in a better format rather than the line break format so i hope you understood how to do this let's go on to the next function here in this tab or in this sheet we'll be learning how to do trim function now what is this trim function if you see the text here it has got certain cells or certain values which are having certain characters either at the beginning or at the end or in the between in between the two words so for example, if we go to this Sven Medlock and double click it, there are certain characters at the end after the alphabet K. In Bridge Khan, there are spacings in between Bridge and Khan. So how do we remove this? So trim function is a best option. It removes the spaces or characters which are blank in the beginning as well as at the end of the words and only leaves single spacing character between the words. So let us go here and say is equal to T R I M trim open parenthesis choose the text from which we want to trim the spaces and say enter. Once done, now you see all the spaces which were at the beginning of S of SWAS have been removed. If I choose to paste this formula on all the cells or at all the cells, all the cells now what appear in the column C are having trimmed with the spaces and there are no extra spaces left between the two words neither at the beginning or at the end of the words so this is how trim can be used for trimming big long text or a few short text values it removes extra spaces between the words now let's go to the next tab next sheet we are going to learn how to use flash fill now flash fill is an option wherein one can choose to type couple of cells in the beginning and then use flash fill to fill the remaining set set of cells now if you see let us begin with this one in the first name let me start typing s u s h s u h a s suhas enter robert r o now if you see as soon as i start typing robert r o all the cells beneath robert in the dimmed text can be seen with the first name of all contained cells so if i say enter all the cells will now have the first name filled in by default this is how flash fill can be used if i choose to use flash fill in another way there are multiple ways of doing this so if you say home and if you go to fill in this fill one finds the option of flash fill here at the last this is one way another way is if you go to the data tab and choose flash fill option here we can use a flash fill so now if you see the first name has been filled on in all these cells now i will go to the last name and now i'll show you fourth way of using the flash fill by demonstrating here so i'm going to type the second name of this gentleman that is j o a g joe the next one i'm typing k i n g king and once done i go to the next cell and say control e by default the second name has been filled in remaining cells 
of this table. So if we go to this serial number 18, 19 and 20, there are no names in this and by default inset in column C and column D, the formatting has been done as flash field here too. So this is how flash field can be used for reducing the time and efforts to keep on typing the text or the words as required. So this is the use of flash fill in Excel. Let's go on to the next topic that is case format. Now by default whichever part of the world one goes the first alphabet of the name and the family name or the surname or any of the proper nouns are in capital alphabet. First alphabet is capital and remaining the small alphabet. So now let us use how can use various formulae to find out how we can choose the cases. Now if I say L O W E R lower, open parenthesis and choose the text here and say close parenthesis. By default the word has been typed in lower case. If I choose to paste the formula for the remaining cells, the same thing happens. All the words now are in lower case. If I go to the next column wherein I am going to demonstrate how to use the upper format casing type upper open parenthesis choose the cell and close the parenthesis so the text in that cell will now get converted into uppercase and as demonstrated on screen you can see it is incomplete uppercase I choose to paste the formulae in all remaining cells and all the cells now have contained in uppercase the next one is proper I'm going to go to the next cell that is e4 and type P R O P E R open parenthesis choose the text and close parenthesis I will copy the same formula for all remaining cells and there you see the first alphabet of the name by default appears to be in uppercase and the remaining portion of the name in the lowercase so this is the proper case which is used in English language for naming person or place so a proper noun always has the first alphabet in capital and remaining text in small. So here I have demonstrated how case formatting can be done for the Excel content one by one as per the requirement. Let us go to the next tab. In this tab we will be seeing how to separate out content of a single cell into multiple columns or multiple cells. So by default if you see in column A5 there is an address of certain place the city name, the pin code or the postal code and the country name. So let us use the way in Excel to convert this into three, three columns. First one of address, second of city and third one as country. So now to do this, I'm going to choose data tab. I'm going to choose the option text to columns. Here the text is converted or split into multiple columns. There are two choices here, delimited cells or fixed width cells. Now I am going to choose delimited because I don't have any fixed width cells here or not any requirement of having a fixed width cell. So I choose delimited. I go to the next tab. Here there are choices of choosing which other delimiter is applicable. So tab which is not applicable in my case I am un unchecking it. Semicolon, comma, space and other. Any one of this can be chosen. In our case, in our example I am going to choose comma and here is a choice straight consecutive delimiters as one. So if two consecutive delimiters are coming and one expects it to be considered as single, he or she has to check this box else remain it unchecked. So once done, now you see in the preview, the first cell shows the, the first cell shows the address, the second one, the city and last one, the country. I go to next. Now in case if I don't wish to copy or contain any of the columns in my resultant output I can choose the last choice here do not import column the column will not be imported in that case but I don't require it as of now I wish to import all the three columns one can choose to keep the format as general text or as a date as per the requirement so now here I have chosen only the first cell and first cell is getting converted or the text from that cell is getting converted into various columns and while doing that it is asking a destination to begin with. 
by default the destination is a5 i don't want to, want to override the a5 cell so i'm going to choose destination as b5 and once chosen i'm going to say finish as soon as i say finish there's already data here do you want to replace it i say okay and here it is all the three cells have got filled in with the corresponding database right the same thing can be done for the remaining cells i'll just give you a fast demo on this delimited next i say comma i say next and i say destination cell now i'm going to choose this cell as destination and say finish once done now all the cells have been split into different columns and this is how text to column feature can be used in excel to separate out long text into a relevant cell wise distribution of text now let us go to the next tab and learn retain file name now here i have got a database of few files in the folder locations so the path has been typed in here by the person who has created this detail but it is of no use to me because i don't require the path i only wish to see the file name and the file format here so how do i do it very easy now i am going back to search and replace portion the same way i can choose it as i did just now or one can opt to choose it as control h in this i'll say replace now what do i need to replace here is the backslash and the text before the backslash so now do i need to copy all the text and the backslash no it and backslash asterisk is a wild character so it will choose everything that is before the backslash and replace it with blank or nothing when i say replace all it replaces everything and gives me a alert or as a message here all done we made replacement of 35 cents so here i say okay and close so this is how i can extract only the file name and the format here now going ahead if i choose to separate out the file name and the format into two cells we already have learned it in the earlier tab how to separate out text to columns let us use it here and i opt to choose this i go to data from this i choose text to columns as said earlier delimited next here my delimiter is not a tab but it is a point or decimal so i opt to give a point here as soon as i give a point as a delimiter i see in the data view that the file name has got separated from the file format i say next now again the destination is what is required here i'm going to choose b4 as a destination and i don't want a4 to be the destination cell so here it is i choose b4 and once done i say finish as soon as i say finish the two columns have been filled in with the relevant data the first one being the file name and the second one being the file format so this is how one can choose to find out the or separate out the file name and the format of that file as well as then further on go on ahead to segregate it into two different columns so this is how one can separate out the file name from the file path and only retain what is essential required.